Hi, oh, it's Jonathan here, DJ Puff the Third. Just come back from the um, <clears throat> bottle dig at Red Robin, and I couldn't. I didn't do any video there because basically the um, the person who was with me didn't want themselves on camera, but he did filming himself. So I'm back at the flat now, still feeling ropey, legs, you know. Just, but we're gonna take a look at. What we found made a few interesting finds. So I'll we'll swing it round and I'll, I'll drag them all out the bucket. <laughs> right, we have a mini champagne, a small bolly champagne bottle. <sighs> tablespoons looks like a pretty good color Heinz salad cream HJ Heinz that's a salad cream a lot of these are probably end up recycled to be honest two ounce Bovril so these are all about 1932. A big flask. That should come up nice if it was if you could clean it internally, it'd be quite nice. Big flask, probably a whiskey or brandy. You can just about see the sea green colour in the base of it. A Swan Ink no stopper. But there's a that's a Swan Ink. It says underneath that it's Swan. Ponds milk glass. It's got ponds on the side of it. They're pretty common. One of these pots with the rib at the top and uh, well line around the top and the bottom I think it was in a jar inside of a jar and they cleaned up but they have the crazing in the um the glaze different color crazing in the glaze and they're quite nice and there's another one there with just the ring around the top another porcelain jar That's just a Shipham's paste. So that'll probably end up going. Another tablespoons. Paste jar, boring jar. Vaseline, so Chesterborough, New York, Vaseline. Oh no, this is the jar in the jar. <laughs> Glass jar, FMF, so 30s. Just a boring jar. This is a, a very nice one, worth cleaning up. And it's a William P. Hartley. It's not as early as the, um, the lighthouse, but it's still a good one. It's in good condition. There's no cracks that I can see. It's got the ribs on it. So that's a good one. That's, that's a good jar of that. This was unusual. It's from New York and it's some kind of Pepto. Pepto from New York. Uh, Fairchild Brothers Foster, New York. 
and it's the first of them I've ever found and it's a big screw top yeah never found one of them before what appears to be another salad cream yeah that's another salad cream Heinz salad cream bit of a collapse what is probably a pneumonia bottle it's got the poison striations but I should imagine it's a pneumonia bottle of course none of these have been cleaned yet and I don't know if I ever will because I feel so flipping ill and I can't concentrate they may never get cleaned small octagonal Bentley patent Screw top, Bentley pattern. These are all from Red Robin bottle tit, of course. This looked to be a, well, was it? No, it looked like to be an aerated direct supply, aerated mineral water. But as nice as it was, it was damaged. It's got a big blister at the base and a crack. So that one will probably just get lobbed. I should imagine. Another small bottle, still got the cork in it. Just a little one. A big Heinz bottle. HJ Heinz Co Limited. I'm not sure what it is, Remain. Oh, it's just a lot of crap in the top, but I'm not sure what brand it is or what was in it, whether it was olives, Heinz had olives or not, I don't know. A little, a little thin glass bottle, it's quite light apart from the dirt in it. Basic source, there's no embossing on it. Same again, unembossed source. Oh, just what I didn't want to fucking do. Can't control myself now. Yeah, again. Just a source, label, nothing else. I don't want to destroy that. Eau de Cologne bottle. Fragrance. Eau de Cologne. Found a few of them in the past. What we got here? Welcome Chemical Company bottle. Welcome Chemical Company. Let's can see nothing particularly interesting. And we've got one of these. I had one before but the glass went really weird and it cracked up and it was white and I mainly kept it for that reason because it was white and all cracked up but this is a similar bottle not entirely sure what it was cork top a thin glass lightweight bottle Maybe a junket or something. Junket powder or something. And then the two most interesting items. This terracotta pot is glazed internally. I've found a few of these before, but I've never found one this big. And it's got a bit of a rib around the top edge. 
That's quite nice, that. English made. That'll make a lovely brush washer, that. you have to see if I can start up a Netsy. Don't know. And then the best, well, not the best find today. Could be, but found another poison bottle. A green poison bottle. WT1. Not to be taken, so we'll just take it anyway. Green poison. So that was what was in the bucket. And we got this bag here as well, which is Knees' bag. Let's see what we've got in here. Another jar. Golden Shred brand, so that was Marmalade, Golden Shred. A many-sided, faceted, well, jar, screw top. A bottle that's still got the cotton wool in it. Still got the cotton wool. Base of a cold cream. One. This is quite nice. A bowl with the um, the ribs on it. I found one of these before. Doesn't look to be damaged. Nice that. Just a boring glass pot, basically. Another base to a cold cream, but with the rounded concave, not flat. Another one of them strange clay things, I've absolutely no idea what they are. I find them quite often, but I don't know what they are. One ounce Bovril, 1932 one ounce Bovril, Inkwell, a round Inkwell, 231 minus Inkwell. A hand grenade. Yes, a giant Pex anchovy paste. Anchovy paste. And this was the most unusual find of the day. Top is missing, I'm afraid. We would have dug this up as well. Ah, shame we never found a top to it. But it's Chinese. Look at that. If it would zoom in, probably not. Chinese. It's a vase of some description. We've got two men here. One with a fan, another one with a fan that isn't open. A welcome tree or or something. And it's got the um the Chinese writing underneath as well. So 
So very interesting. Just a shame that the top's off of it. Oh, well, things are thrown out for good reason. But wow, never found anything like that before. At Red Robin. And now all these have got to go back in the bag and in, in the the bucket. Oh, I won't be able to clean them. Not today. Just don't feel well enough. I'm just, just going to have to go to bed. <laughs> Lay down. And um, make some noodles. That's probably just about all I can stomach at the, at the moment. And just lay down and hope I feel better. <laughs> oh, so, well, went out today with Knees, or Andrew, and we did a bit of digging at Red Robin. I didn't get any action um, video, but he he done some himself. He was the one that was recording. And we may see that in the future at some point, and this footage goes back to at least 2016, which is when, before Skits left, before Kim left. So we may see some documentary of some kind. Oh, we'll just have to see what happens in the future. <laughs> left foot is going numb. And um, yeah, well, that was the bottles. If you want to take a closer look at something, just go back. But they're not washed, I'm afraid. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to wash them because just the way I feel. And um, hopefully Andrew will be back again and we'll go through them. A few of them are just going to get thrown out. Some of them may be washed and recycled. Some of them we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I showed you what I found today. It's been a long time since I've been to Red Robin, you know. And I'm going to have to knock it on the head and get something to eat. And then get some rest. Anyway, like I said, if you want to see some of what I found, just go back or pause and then take another look. Any questions? And I'll see if I can give any information about each bottle but most of them are pretty basic and boring anyway i'm going to end it there and um we'll catch you on the next video bye for now